Well, the Fable Public Education Foundation will be commemorating educators, alumni, and friends who have demonstrated commitment to our community. This morning, we have Cambry and Warren joining us now on the show. Thank you so much for being here this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you for having us. Thank Absolutely. You. I want to start off by talking a bit more about the foundation first. Exactly what do you all do for our community? Well, the uh, foundation's been around for about 30 years, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a nonprofit organization which allows teachers in the uh, federal public schools to apply for grants wow. that can uh, be used to do things above and beyond the normal classroom curriculum mm -hmm. and it's a it's wonderful because teachers can you know dream big and hopefully the the foundation can uh, give them the grant to allow them to have these kids uh, experience some wonderful educational experiences. We talked about that too, memorable moments, yes. right? Ways to learn things because you had fun while learning. Right, mm -hmm. a good example would be uh, coming up uh, this year, uh, the foundation is uh, supplying um, glasses to watch nice. the total eclipse in yes. April, which yes. everybody in the district is going to get. And they'll remember that for the rest their lives. Absolutely. What yes. an experience. Yeah. Now, I know that we're also recognizing a few community members as well. Talk to us about who they are and what they've done. Sure. So we have the Hall of Honor, mm -hmm. which commemorates uh, educators, alumni, and friends of public education in Fayetteville. And this year we have um, class of 196D, sorry, Dr. Stoney Anderson, who has done an uh, enormous amount of research in cancer. Mm -hmm. And his most notable thing is that he has provided countless um, screening opportunities for low-income and uninsured individuals in California saving thousands of lives. So we're going to honor him as well as uh, Chatty Cumpy Platt who um, who has Ultra Suede and Dog Party USA but also she has worked in Washington DC she's been in the Peace Corps she's also been um, working with KUF NPR's affiliate yes, for yeah. helping them with major gifts and last we have Mary Frances Kretschmeyer, who is a former female basketball coach, the basketball coach there, who who won enormous amount of uh, state titles. But her most her most memorable part is her mentorship towards the young women at Fayetteville High School and working with Title IX and kind of breaking the glass ceiling a little yeah. bit with some of the ladies there who went to Fayetteville High School. Well deserved, it sounds like. Yeah. Really quickly, how can we help support the foundation? Well, you can obviously make a uh, tax deductible donation. Mm -hmm. uh, if you decide to come to the event on Thursday, uh, that will go towards uh, supplying money for our grand endowment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. That's good to hear. Mm -hmm. We're going to have the details of the event on your screen now, again, happening September 21st. And we'll have all this information online as well on fox24news.tv. 